Okay, and we uh, we leave this question wide open for whichever way you want to take it, whatever you want to do with it. So we we pretty much leaving this uh, open. What are your thoughts on the smoke-free mesquite effort? Well, it's got both goods and bads. Um, I think everybody has a right to a good quality of life. Um, I think it could be some real serious issues for particularly the, the casinos. I mean, we had a smoke-free thing go through that made it so that people could go grocery shopping, could go to church, could go to dinner, could go places. And I think that that's important. Um, I don't think that they're set up like, particularly like a casino is set up, really has a smoke-free area. Um, I know they say that the dinner area is, but let's let's face it, you know, things right next to it, you know, don't make it smoke free. Mm -hmm. um, can we shove it down their throats? No. But could they maybe do more to help? I think that's a good possibility. So I, I believe in the quality of life and that everybody should have a right to a, a good long life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> getting to uh, the subject of business, what do you think the city should do to improve the business climate in Mesquite? And what are your thoughts about the new uh, Mesquite regional business organization? <coughs> it's always a tough name to get out for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I believe the city, one of the first things they could do is they really need to look at their structure. They need to cut back on some of these fees. Um, the fees that are out there, I think, just on the ones that, that we did some research through the chamber on for alcohol vendors alone. I mean, our fees are five and 10 times more than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And if you already have a license, then you have to get another fee to do an outside event where you've already paid for a fee. And I think that that's, that's wrong. I mean, I understand that the city needs fees, but I also understand that the businesses that come in, look at the tax revenue that we're going to get from them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's ways to offset it. Um, I think we made it, make, the city right now makes it very difficult for a lot of businesses. Um, and I think we need to really focus on the businesses that are here and, and support them, re-put re money into them. Um, this new business, this MR, MRB, mm -hmm. um, I think can be a good thing, but I think it was done wrong. Um, I think there's, if, if the city's going to support having somebody out there doing economic development, then if they, they're going to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next few years to this organization, why didn't they bring or have the person that they had in there dedicated to just going out there and finding jobs. I mean, I know there's businesses out there that are harder to pursue and that you need to go out there, but you know, we, we need high quality and, and density with, with the jobs that are brought in. We need good paying jobs that, that can also help support the, the college, that we can put in new programs in the college, that we can train people. Um, I wish them all the best, but I just think it could have been done differently, and I think there should have been other alternatives for that. Okay. Um, at the business summit that was held, um, sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce on January 28th, I think you were there, I think I saw you, two business leaders, Corey Clemenson and Greg Lee, discussed the core industries in Mesquite of golf and gaming. What do you think are the core industries, and what do you recommend the city do or not do about them? Well, I, you know, we're we're a border town. We're we're tourism. That's what supports us. Um, gaming supports us. Golf supports us. Um, the stores that we have around us, our hospital, they're what make us want to be here. If it wasn't for the hospital. A lot of people, we'd lose a lot of our people. So that's a very core business. But as far as, okay. um, you know, I think both um, Wolf Creek and Eureka have reinvested a lot of money 
because they believed in what they were doing and they struggled. And they're going to continue to struggle just like everybody else is. Um, but I highly believe in what they're doing and how, how they outreach to people. Uh, I don't know that the city can do anything except be supportive. They need to not throw up roadblocks to them. They need to enhance, you know, thank them for what they're doing. Be glad that they're here. Uh, can you imagine what, what our town would be like if, if our golf courses all folded up and went away? I mean, we'd be a big brown nothing. I'd have to uh, move. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, but. okay.